Hello everyone and welcome back to Rediscovery. In the last episode we defeated the Ender Dragon and I left off uh, ready to enchant with all the levels I got from that. So I did that and I also did a few other things. The mod, or not the mod pack, the Let's Play, the Minecraft is updated to 1.11.12 because that's the new version that came out mm, around the time of the last episode anyway. Uh, but yeah, I did update to that. I also enchanted a bunch of stuff at the leftovers is in the chest here. So uh, let's just start with that and go through. So the enchanted stuff. So I first actually started with a fishing rod because I talked about enchanting a fishing rod earlier in the series and I think I got a perfect enchantment fishing rod. I don't know anything else that could be on here. I think three is the max level of all those enchantments. So, I mean, if I ever need to fish anything, that's definitely the fishing rod to do it with. So that's pretty cool. Aside from that, I just tried to enchant swords mainly, because uh, in 1.11.12 there's a new enchantment. So let me just take a quick second to talk about 1.11.12. So one thing it does, there's a new cooldown indicator. Now if I swing here, you'll see it appear under my crosshair now, because I used to have it next to the hotbar. Uh, let me actually just switch it real quick and I can show you. So it's crosshair, hotbar. I used to have it down here, you know, near where my sword is. But I changed it over to this one, partly because I was playing other things on the same profile and was trying to get used to this one. But the thing is now, if you're looking at a mob, it will show you when it's fully recharged. I wonder if it works for the wolves. Uh, yes, see the little plus arrow below it? That means it's fully recharged and the sword will do its swipe attack. Now, I don't want to hurt these wolves, but... You know, if I do this, it doesn't show it till it's fully recharged. So that's a little better indicator that the hotbar one did not seem to get as well. So that's why I switched over. But the other thing, there's a new enchantment, Sweeping Edge. Now the things, or I just mentioned how swords have the sweeping attack when it's fully charged. Well, Sweeping Edge makes it so the damage dealt for the little AoE is increased on the other mobs. Like if I hit the main mob I hit gets the full damage, the other mobs in the little sweeping attack get reduced damage. What well, sweeping as raises that reduced damage to be closer to the main damage. I think. Something like that. It increases damage with the sword's AoE attack. That's the main takeaway from it. There's also iron nuggets because you can now salvage broken pieces of armor. Like if I put this in, I get one iron nugget. If I put this in a furnace, it'll give one iron nugget. It doesn't matter the durability, you always get one. And, uh, same for gold. So, now I can turn all those useless gold swords and gold chest plates I got from the nether into, uh, nuggets. Which is at least something. So, uh, there's also stuff with fireworks and elytra. Fireworks also deal, uh, blast damage now, or explosion damage. And with elytra, they give a speed boost. And mending and affinity no longer stack on bows. So, that's the thing. But, uh, yeah. So the main reason I was enchanting swords is because I wanted Sweeping Edge. It's a new one I need for a max enchant sword. So, here's some of the stuff I got. I got a Smite Sword here of Unbreaking and Knockback. Uh, Sharpness, Fire Aspect, Looting and Unbreaking Sword, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, Sharpness and Unbreaking, Sharpness and Unbreaking. So I could combine, you know, these to make a good sword or these to make a good Sharpness 5. At the moment, I'm just leaving them around because why not? Have an Unbreaking Power Bow here. Over here, though, I did get a Bane Sword with Looting and Sweeping Edge. I would have combined this with Judgment, my current Bane Sword, but it just costs too many levels. But I did also get a uh, Sweeping Edge on another sword that I already combined it with Salvation here. So now it has Sharpness, Looting, Unbreaking, and Sweeping Edge, all their max tiers. So it's a pretty good sword. Although, uh, recently, I think I mentioned in the Captive episode, I learned how weak Sharpness is now compared to Smite and Bane. So I really would like to get a Sweeping Edge on my Smite Sword too, if I could. And I also did get Affinity, Infinity on the bow. Not Affinity. Which, I'm kind of surprised I didn't have earlier, but now it has infinity. And, uh, yeah, on top of that, I did repair the diamond armor down here. So that's now all fully repaired. And I also would like to work on getting more mending books, because in here I do have the one... Yeah, there it is, from the village. And I also have mending on here, but it would be nice to get mending on, like, my swords, my armor, or such, so they do repair themselves. I think the armor especially, because I don't wear that, wear that armor unless I'm fighting stuff that I probably would want to keep it repaired with. Like, if I'm just grinding levels, I can just use the iron armor like I have here now. Uh, it would also be nice on a shield. I'm not sure if it works on a shield, but it really would be nice if it does. So, uh, yeah. But aside from that stuff, one thing you might notice, um, yeah, I worked on this map wall. I explored a lot of these regions and filled out maps. Uh, I didn't bring a boat with me, just a horse, which is why, um, it's not perfect. <laughs> but I do want to continue exploring and try to fill out this map, partly because I still need to do exploration to find one of the last things. So, actually, just to jump ahead of my notes, there's a couple goals left in the mod pack. The Wither, 
uh, the end islands and more of the stuff in the end now that I fought the dragon. And the Woodland Mansion. Now for the Woodland Mansion, I need to find it or find a village that sells a map to it. Now I could also trade in my existing villages to hopefully get it unlocked. But I did find some new villages. I think you can barely see them on this map. Maybe that's one. I don't know. Uh, there's one down there for sure. So, I don't know. I did find some new villages. Nothing too extraordinary there yet. And I didn't find any woodland mansions that I know of. But, well, there's still a lot more of this wall to explore. And I would like to explore it all if I can. I don't know. It depends how time goes. Because this series is kind of approaching wrapping up anyway. And also, another thing to note, since I mentioned dragging, uh, in the last episode, some people, I think namely Akatori, was mad at me because I didn't get Dragon's Breath. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure how you do it is you just take, uh, I don't have any empty bottles here, I think they're in the basement, but you take an empty potion bottles and you use it on those little purple clouds and you get Dragon's Breath, which is how you make lingering potions. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't mean to try and do that, I just forgot. I was too focused on fighting the dragon and, you know, um beating it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of my first time fighting the new dragon. I didn't want to, you know, not bring enough supplies and die or just wanted to make sure I was doing that and focus so much on that I forgot to bring a bottle or forgot to use bottles I had. So my bad there. But the other reason I didn't do it is because I always planned to get them when I fought the dragon the second time because you can revive the dragon and fight again and that's something I plan to do. So don't worry, I will still be able to get a uh, dragon's breath for that. So, let's see, I kind of spent a good bit of this episode just talking about stuff. But, uh, another thing, and the thing we'll be focusing on this episode, I got lucky. I got the Wither Skulls. So, it was one of those things, I spent a good bit of time in the Wither, and it's kind of like, uh, I think the same thing happened in Captive, only I didn't have looting in Captive. But, like, once I got one, I just seemed to get the others right away. So, I actually died in the Nether trying to get these. I think I lost, oh yeah, I did have another bow, I think, and I lost it. Yeah. I don't know, I didn't bring my good gear just because I was farming. I think maybe I just brought this sword or another looting sword. I can't remember. And you might also notice another thing. Um, over here, I improved the portal area using red nether brick, glowstone, nether brick. I don't know, I try to do a thing where the arches kind of like go into the portal to kind of like stabilize, support it kind of look to it. I think it looks pretty cool for another portal, just nothing too fancy. The big problem I had was size, because I wanted to kind of keep it the same distance from the wall as the other buildings, yet center on the pathway here. So that didn't get, leave me a lot of room. You know, this is also three from the wall, so yeah, it's kind of limited space-wise due to how I did the portal, but eh, it worked. I also have some sunflowers I grabbed from my explorations that I decided to plant out front. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and the other thing, I did head back to the end and make a pathway from the little entrance to the island and also a pathway to, uh, some other place we'll check out in a future episode. You might know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. But I think that's most of the stuff I did or had to cover. I covered the 1.11.12 changes, uh, the enchantments, uh, the Wither Skulls and Pathway map wall, and the portal, and oh! But with the portal, I think the base is more or less done. The greenhouse is done. I would like cocoa beans, but aside from that, it's done. I even have vines growing there because I was using vines with the banner. Uh, I forget if I know that before. The stable's pretty much done. The portal's done. This is just empty space for whatever I might need it for in the future. I don't know. Don't have any plans for it anyway. The wall's done. I just can't figure out how to do a fancy gateway, so I'm just leaving the doors as they are. This is probably going to be the final patches because I don't know what else to do. And the base, I wouldn't say it's done. I could still do more detailing and stuff, but it's kind of getting there at least. I don't know, I might do more there, but aside from the base and possibly upgrading this place a little more to look fancier, I think the base here is uh, done. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, let's see, look at my notes. So I think what I'm going to do now is just go and fight the Wither. So it was either Wither or more End stuff this episode because I have to explore to find the Woodland Mansion and stuff before I can do that. So uh, Wither it is. Uh, I did make a list of things I need, though, so I need to get my armor, for one. Uh, I, yeah, I want armor for fighting the Wither. There we go. So I have my armor. I slightly damaged, I think, probably because I did something after repairing it. Also, I did turn off tooltips. I'm not sure how long I had them on, or... I don't know. I just decided to turn them off, because I know I had them on when I was doing other stuff in this profile, like adventure maps and whatnot. And I said, you know what, I probably should just turn that off. So, I do need, uh, my smite sword. 
because the wither's undead, and yeah, okay, let me actually explain. Uh, Sharpness 5, I'm pretty sure, only deals, adds 3 damage, while Smite 5 adds 12.5, but only to undead. So that's a pretty huge damage difference there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Pretty huge. Uh, I don't think I need some of my stuff. Like, I don't think I really need to bring this stuff. I'll bring the pickaxe. Actually, I'm gonna leave behind this one and just grab an efficiency one, just so I have a pickaxe, just so I don't lose this one if something goes wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, I do want to bring those and those and steak instead of potatoes. Yeah, let's see, what else? How about I just grab the supplies, I'll head down to the mines or wherever I'm gonna do this and set it up and then we'll resume. Well, I think this might be a good place to summon the wither. I decided not to do it directly under my base because, uh, yeah, that staircase or the ladder down to the mine shaft is pretty directly under my base. So if I did go up, that would have been bad. So I'm kind of off to the side. I just kind of mined down a staircase here uh, from a section. And also, diamonds. I just randomly dug down and to the side and I found diamonds. So hopefully I can come back and mine those and it doesn't get destroyed. I'm not expecting this to be a super hard fight just because... I'm well equipped, but uh, hey, um, I think it's because I uh, maybe didn't give enough space or because of those blocks. I don't know. Let's try that again. There we go. So there's one achievement for it. Woohoo! Too bad this isn't the series where I get achievements. Okay, uh, health is purple. Does that mean it's charging? Oh no! Oh god! That was a pretty direct tip, and it's a lot sooner than I was expecting, and it's dark. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Ow. Hold on. Actually, let me just drink this, because I want to see my health. Okay. So I have plenty of strength potions and healing potions and milk. And strength again. But yeah, the winner shouldn't be too hard because with strength and smite. Okay, it does have that shield up, so it uh, probably really allowed to. I always forget that. Oh, there we go. Hey, look, I helped me mine ores. <laughs> okay, so we did get the nether star. And uh, a lot of blocks it broke. <laughs> But that wasn't too hard. I wasn't expecting it to be too hard. But then again, I also wasn't expecting the dragon to be as hard as it was. So, um, you know, have to be careful with that stuff. It can surprise you at times. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty easy. Uh, pretty much the tactic I was trying to go for is where you make a tunnel and it can't follow you back through the tunnel. So it just gets stuck. Uh, it didn't work as well as it did in the past, or I've seen it work in the past. But it still worked pretty darn well, I think. Only used uh, two milk, two strength, and one healing potion, I think. And I armor didn't take that much damage either, looks like. Although I'm not sure if a shield actually blocks the Wither Skulls. Probably not. It probably still has the explosion damage. Then again, the shield does block explosion damage, so I don't know. Maybe someday I'll have to summon another Wither Test. Probably not in this series, though. Because I do have another series that's awaiting a Wither fight. Hint. <laughs> actually, I was preparing the Wither stuff in a uh, captive recently. Or actually, before I prepared the stuff here for this episode. So, yeah. But now that we have the Nether Star, I can uh, head back. Uh, hopefully, I remember the right way. I just put a torch down here just to make it a little less dark. But yeah, it wasn't that far from my portal. I think it's uh, the ladder, not portal. Yep, right over here. So... Good thing is decide to stay down there and not go up towards my base. That, that would have been bad. I don't know. I know there's other tricks to withers. I never really bothered too much with them. Although, I remember back in uh, one series, uh, Frostfire FTP, that's what it was. Um, yeah, I kind of underestimated the wither there and just got my uh, butt kicked. So, um, yeah, that's why I was a little cautious this time. <laughs> I did not want a repeat of that. I also had a um, fire assistance potion just in case the wither released lava. Because there was some lava nearby, too. Uh, I wasn't concerned about it because I brought the fire resistance. So, uh, yeah. But the thing I want to do now is make a beacon. So, unfortunately, I don't have enough to do a full pyramid of, with the beacon. And that's something I'll be working on off camera. But uh, what I need is this and I think just glass. I don't know. It's been a while since I made a beacon. But I'm pretty sure it's just like that, like that, and another star. That's it, right? I don't know, there's achievement for beacons. I thought you just craft it like that. 
Oh, create a full... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know it said a full beacon. Well, right down here is where I decided to put the beacon. It's the only place that had enough room. But, uh, yeah, so... I'm not sure what it means by full. Does it actually mean the full, full thing? If so, um, that's a problem for captive. I wasn't planning on that. See, good thing I did this first. <laughs> but, uh... I don't think I even have enough iron to extend out this far. Yep, definitely not. <laughs> so I need more iron to even get to the second tier. Darn. But, uh... I can at least do that, and do that, and... There we go. I was waiting for it to turn on. Now, one thing I heard about and wanted to do is I heard you could recolor the beacon by putting stained glass over top it. I think that's a vanilla thing. There we go. Not the nicest color. Kind of preferred white, to be honest, but I did say I wanted, or did have in my notes I want to do light gray. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's what the beacon is for right now. And, uh... I'm not sure if I want to just end the episode here or do more. It's because this is a bit of a short episode, but at the same time, uh, the only other stuff I have to do is probably best save for another episode, which is the end. Because I can't, I could go exploring, but I think if I just do that off camera and show you what I find, then have a whole bunch more episodes dedicated to exploring. But yeah, the series is drawn to a close. And... Huh, what's that up there? That's a Mega Taiga? I don't know. Oh no, that's uh, the savannah, that's what it is. It looked a bit weird, like a super village or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think I will be winding down this episode here. I'll be sorting away the stuff, going back to exploring, and, uh, yeah, that should be fun. So, uh, yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a bit short and just a pretty quick wither fight and a whole bunch of uh, recap, like, normal. <laughs> or, you know, explanations of stuff I did off camera, yada yada recap. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the series is kind of coming to a close, though. There's not much more to do besides this stuff in the end and the Woodland Mansion once I find that. So hopefully we can get to that stuff soon. Uh, next week there should be episodes dedicated to the end, hopefully, finding the elytra there. That's my plan, anyway. And I'll work on trying to get more ore blocks of that beacon and find that Woodland Mansion as well. So, yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Or, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, until next time, goodbye.